Designing with FPGAs is the fastest way to get custom, complex, high-performance logic into your system. And you can start getting actual productive work done with pre-made FPGA development boards on day one. The problem is, none of the -the off-the-shelf FPGA development boards have everything your design needs. You probably need to attach a camera or some sensors, some storage or memory, a blender, or even that automatic IoT cat polisher. Wait, what even is a cat polisher anyway? (laughs) The possibilities, as you can imagine, are endless. Luckily, the folks that make FPGA development boards thought of that long ago and gave us FPGA mezzanine cards, or FMCs to the cool kids. (laughs) And not quite so long ago, they upgraded that to FMC Plus to handle all these newfangled high-performance I.O. standards. But before you can plug in your custom-connected Internet of Cats I.O. card... (laughs) to your FPGA board, you need, well, a plug. And that's where this Chalk Talk can help. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Today, my guest is Matthew Burns from Samtech, and we're going to talk about FMC, FMC+, and the connectors you'll need to make them work. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about FMC Solutions from Samtech. Hi, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, Amelia. It's good to be with you again. Okay, we've been covering FMC cards and Chalk Talks for years, so I'm pretty well acquainted with this technology. But for those in my audience that don't know, can you give us a quick overview of FMC and FMC Plus? I'd be glad to. For those that don't know, FMC refers to FPGA mezzanine card. This concept was developed by a consortium of FPGA vendors and FPGA end users who are members of the Vita 57 working group. What does that mean in real life? Well, the ANSI or or Vita 57.1-2010 FMC spec defines a compact electromechanical expansion interface for daughter cards that would attach to an FPGA baseboard. So common sense tells you that this is championed by the FPGA vendors. This standard enables FPGA designers to accelerate their FPGA application development using off-the-shelf development kits, both for the FPGA baseboard and a growing number of FMC daughter cards that are available from a variety of vendors. This provides a platform for using a standard or common FPGA baseboard, but changing the application by switching out the FMC as is necessary to fit the design needs for the OEM. The latest progression in this space is the new ANSI Vita 57.4 2016 FMC Plus spec, which is an evolution in response to the latest FPGAs, ADCs, DACs, and high-speed serial memory. Okay, and there have been some recent standards updates for FMC, right? To keep us up with those new high-speed interfaces? Yes. As Moore's Law continues to progress in the silicon world. We're seeing faster FPGAs with more transceivers. We're seeing faster ADCs and DACs. So the industry really needed an upgrade to FMC. So what does FMC Plus bring us? First and foremost, FMC moves from the 10 multi-gigabit interfaces on FMC to the 32 that FMC Plus supports. The speed rates of these multi-gigabit transceivers have also increased from 10 gigabit up to 28 gigabit per second. This is in direct response to the number of transceivers and the transceiver speeds that the FPGA vendors have on their silicon. Another main feature that the FMC users wanted was to keep FMC Plus backwards compatible with the existing systems. We'll detail what that means in just a minute. Another key feature of Vita 57.4 FMC Plus specification is the definition of two different types of connectors. The HPC and LPC connectors of FMC have been replaced with the high serial pin count or HSPC connector. What are the details of that? HSPC has 560 pins arranged in a 14 by 40 array. HSPC supports up to 24 multi-gigabit interfaces, and it also supports up to 160 single-ended I.O. or 80 LVDS pairs that are foundational from the FMC HPC. The second connector that FMC Plus specifies is the High Signal Pin Count Extension, or HSPCE connector. This is a second connector that has 80 pins in a 4x20 array. Why is this needed? 
Well, the HSPCE connector supports an eight additional multi-gigabit interfaces, which gives you the 32 total high-speed transceivers that FMC Plus supports. The combination of HSPC and HSPCE, again, gives you support for up to 32 multi-gigabit interfaces. This new standard provides a maximum system level throughput of almost 900 gigabits per second via the 32 multi-gigabit interfaces. Okay, so if I'm building boards that need to plug FMC stuff together... <laughs> Let's talk about connectors. The Samtech C-Ray high-density open pin field arrays have been adopted by the FMC ecosystem since its inception. C-Ray offers a 1.27 millimeter by 1.27 millimeter grid array for maximum grounding and routing flexibility. It offers a low insertion and low extraction force versus other typical ray products that are on the market. Samtech's rugged edge rate contact system is less prone to damage when zippered to unmate. C-Ray also offers solder charge terminations for ease of processing. C-Ray comes in stack heights ranging from 7 to 17 millimeter. C-Ray also supports vertical, right angle, and press fit options. And there are also 85 ohm system termination options as well. Okay, so are there any other key features of C-Ray? There are. What makes C-Ray especially applicable in the FMC and FMC Plus ecosystem is the flexibility that the system offers. You can see from the illustration on the left that any one pin within the array can support up to 28 gigabits differentially, 28 gigabits single-ended or referentially, or deliver up to 1.8 amps of current per pin. Now there are some caveats with this. This illustration shows that C-Ray solutions give OEMs the ability to simultaneously run differential pairs, single-ended pairs, or power through the same 28 gigabit per second interconnect. Samtech's standard C-Ray offering supports up to 500 single-ended IOs or up to 125 differential pairs. Samtech also offers recommended pin assignments for optimal system performance. C-Ray was chosen for the FMC standard for both HPC and LPC, and with the latest FMC Plus standard, C-Ray was also chosen for the HSPC and the HSPCE. So Matthew, can you tell me about FMC Plus specific connectors? More than happy to, Amelia. Both the FMC and the FMC Plus specification have adopted application-specific product versions of C-Ray, or ASPs. For FMC Plus, on the FPGA carrier side, we have both a 560-pin and 80-pin connector option for both the HSPC and HSPCE options. We offer four different options for the FMC Plus mezzanine cards. You'll notice that these come in two stack heights, both 10 millimeter and 8.5 millimeter. The 10 millimeter is standard, the 8.5 millimeter is optional. We have both the HSPC and the HSPCE connectors in 560 pin and 80 pin at the two stack heights. The part numbers are shown here on the presentation as well. A key feature of these ASPs are that they are backwards compatible with the FMC HPC and LPC connectors via a customized polarization system as well. So what application areas do FMC Plus support? As we've already discussed, FMC Plus is really a response to the faster speeds and increased transceiver counts that both Xilinx and Altera and other FPGA vendors are putting on their next generation silicon. Where those applications are found include datacom applications all across the data center, storage, computing, processing, networking. We see FPGAs and FMC Plus used in video broadcast. We see a number of customers, especially in aerospace and defense, looking for rugged off-the-shelf communication systems that can be put onto an FPGA-based system. We see FMC Plus being adopted into industrial and instrumentation applications. Another application that's adopting FMC Plus are the next generation ADCs and DACs from the leading analog vendors. That's in response to the emerging JESD 204C standard, which supports data rates of up to 32 gigabits per second between the ADC and the FPGA. Another area where we see FMC Plus being adopted is for next generation RF connectivity, whether that's for wireless backhaul or at the base stations on the cellular towers. Another area is high speed serial memory, especially the HMC technology that Micron has developed in recent years. Another area where FMC Plus is being adopted, it's near and dear to Samtech's heart, is high density fiber optics. What you see illustrated on the right is the first of many FMC and FMC Plus cards that Samtech will release that combines both FMC Plus and our Firefly micro flyover optical engines. So look for more information from Samtech on that as we move throughout 2017. All right, I think I'm ready to get started. Is there a kit I can use to check this out for my own applications? 
There are several FPGA development and evaluation kits on the market that have FMC+. One of the highest performance solutions on the market, though, is Xilinx's Vertex Ultrascale Plus FPGA VCU-108 Evaluation Kit. This is the ideal development environment for evaluating Xilinx's cutting-edge Vertex Ultrascale FPGAs. This board has both the Vita 57.1 FMC HPC interface as well as a Vita 57.4 FMC Plus HSPC interface. This kit also comes with a Samtech designed FMC Plus loopback card. Why is this FMC Plus loopback card included in the kit? Samtech signal integrity experts worked hand in hand with the Xilinx FPGA board developers to provide a demonstration and test platform for 28 gigabit per second performance over the FMC Plus connectors. The combined solution supports HSPC loopback at 28 gigabit per second data rates. Okay, great. And now can you wrap things up? Matthew, can you give me the high points of what we've talked about today? Yes. The first point that we hope that the listeners take away is that the new FMC Plus standard enables new capabilities in response to the latest silicon from the FPGA vendors, the data acquisition vendors, and also high-speed serial memory. Second, due to our legacy within FMC, as well as the high performance that our C-Ray family offers, C-Ray ASPs were again chosen for the FMC Plus standard for both the HSPC and HSPCE connectors. Samtech's FMC Plus C-Ray connectors and the FMC Plus standard support 28 gigabit per second data rates and beyond. If customers would like to get more information on Samtech solutions within the FMC and FMC Plus ecosystems, they can visit our website at www.samtech.com forward slash FMC for more details. Well, I think that's all I have time for. Thank you so much for joining me, Matthew. Amelia, it's always a privilege. Thank you for your time as well. And before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about FMC solutions from Samtech. For Chalk Talk, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the On Demand section of EE Journal or check out YouTube, keyword EE Journal.